think grocery day this is everything for the meal prepping for the week plus extra for like lunches and snacks and all that fun stuff so what I've noticed at the house of Parker is that we either feast or famine <laughs> so there's a lot here so I'm gonna bring them in and I'm gonna separate them and then um, I'll show you what I'll be using for the meal prep this week and hopefully we can get started with that okay so I got all the groceries out but for some reason HEB decided to put like one item in each bag <laughs> so it took forever and I haven't really separated everything from the meal prep um, food so I'm just gonna go over things real quick and um, let you know what, what things are for um, so the sweet potatoes and these here that's for the meal prep for this week these are some big sweet potatoes I could have just probably got two <laughs> you never know um, I have started drinking whole milk now instead of soy milk um, it's better for my blood sugar because it has more protein so and I think it tastes better anyway <laughs> that's my opinion so I have um, this is for me I am allergic to seafood so tuna you know all that fun stuff so I, since I can't have tuna I buy this and make it just like tuna so for sandwiches for me or I put it in salads um, stuff like that so I, you know I use mayonnaise mustard whatever seasoning put egg in it just like tuna for some reason my son says it smells like tuna but who knows of course uh, eggs and the bananas everybody eats bananas uh, the carrots are for no prepping suggested you know the whole carrots and then you're gonna peel and cut well I want to save time as well so I just bought these and these were cheaper these were on sale uh, this spinach is also for my meal prep I have some English muffins and then this here is the steaks that are for meal prep too now these are green beans they're kind of wet so I'm leaving them in this bag now I didn't go in I had I used the um, curbside um, online shopping so usually HEB is pretty good with produce so um, I have to go through these green beans it looks like but anyway I would have to do that when I get home anyway so um, I'm not so I do have frozen green beans but the for the recipe for the meal prepping um, for the week she suggested using fresh green beans, which are always better. So I'm going to go ahead and use those and just keep the frozen ones on hand for something quick and easy. Um, this is way too much ginger, <laughs> but that's okay. And then these are also for the meal prep for the week. And then <laughs> all these cookies. My son and husband have a huge sweet tooth. Huge sweet tooth. And that's for my son. He likes root bears. So anyway... Okay, here is some more stuff. So this over here is for meal prepping. And I have not tried this. So the recipe book I'm following is it's gluten-free, but you can, um, you know, make substitutions. Uh, so that, um, you know, like if you want to do keto, paleo, dairy-free, low-carb, she has it in a little section what you can use for substitutions and stuff. So anyway I'm making my own barbecue sauce so I needed to buy a few spices which they're not cheap so my um, grocery bill was a little bit more and so um, I love our HEB here because you can get their brand of organic stuff and it's cheaper than normal organic stuff so it's great I had to buy this because it said grandma's uh, I, like I said, I'm allergic to seafood, so I bought some salmon. This is going to be an extra meal for my husband and son, and I can make chicken uh, to go with that. So this is part of it. This is part of my meal prepping. And <laughs> these are not, but these were 15 cents, and I'm going to be a group leader, and I'm also going to be a mentor in the mentoring program, so I want to kind of stay organized, so I thought I'd get a few of those. And purple's my favorite color, so. And then I buy these. These are for me for lunches, for salad, or just to eat them, so on and so forth. 
And so also what I like about ATV is they offer a lot of specials. And so if you bought the bought two of these you, you and cheese and the cheese here, you got the chili, the brownie mix, and the corn chips. Right there. Free. So it's pretty cool. And here we go again with more sweet food. Uh, granola bars. My husband likes soy milk. And this is a new thing. So I have not tried this, but I guess you can substitute it for soy sauce if you're going gluten free. So, or and soy free uh, for that matter. But I'm allergic to tree nuts, and coconut is a tree nut. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is part of my meal prepping. And my onions are as well. And then my son likes these because they're quick and easy for him. So anyway, so not too bad. Little extras. And the batteries died in my camera, I swear. Nothing goes right on when I decide to shoot a video, but that's okay. So anyway, here's the stuff. And I'm hoping to get started today with no prepping, but I'm I am going to be having my windshield fixed or repaired today, so I'm not sure uh, if this will be started today or tomorrow. And plus, I have a meeting tonight, so let's see how that goes. All right, this is what we're eating this week at the House of Parker. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, Tanya here from the House of Parker. And today I am going to do a cook with me video. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm going to be doing some meal prepping. So I'm going to take you along on the adventure. Um, it should be pretty exciting. The cookbook I am following um, is very easy, very simple. Um, very excited about it. And um, it's going to save me lots of time. And it's going to be quick and easy, nutritious meals. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then um, first of all, I need to get the kitchen cleaned, I need to change my clothes, and I need to just focus and get this done. So thank you for coming along on this journey. I appreciate it. And uh, let's have some fun today with a cook with me video. All right, it is now prep day and I'm getting started. So I, I go over uh, my list of ingredients and what I need to do first. And so we're going to get the chicken going. I'm going to use the Instant Pot method. All right here are my ingredients. I have them ready to go. Just need to get them chopped and prepared. Uh, broccoli, carrots, and some ginger, and my onion, and my minced garlic.
it is hot in here and the onions always make me cry. Okay, in my opinion, this is, is the best way to cook bacon. It takes about uh, 12 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. And uh, you don't make a mess on the stove. And you can, um, once the bacon cools, I'm gonna put it on um, a plate that's paper towel lined, and that'll soak up the remaining um, uh, bacon grease and stuff. But yes, my opinion, it's the best way to cook bacon. And in case anybody wondered where Fable is at, she's helping in the kitchen today. <laughs> she's hoping that I might just accidentally drop something and she'll get to taste what it is that we're having for dinners this week. Right, Fable girl? Hey, baby. What's she doing? to be shredded. It only took 20 minutes in the Instapot and it was just seasoned with salt and some pepper and just a cup of water. So I'm going to get ready to shred it.
meal prepping is done, I am going to clean my kitchen. And um, I, this was pretty fun to do, so I might make some more of these. I actually had a lot of fun today. And um, um, it was fairly easy, went by pretty quick. It, just longer because, you know, of having to film and move the camera around. And um, so, all right, I'm going to clean my kitchen. And then I'm going to sit and have some coffee. And then we're back to our regular scheduled program. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.